After a series of extreme criticism, allegation and war of words from both sides, Strain finally came with explanation and dirty exposed to end this war. Strain released not one, not two, but three videos back to back targeting anti-Hindu forces trying to create conflict among us. Every single video of the string had pressed the panic button among these pseudos in the past. I don't know how they are going to react to these three verbal nuclear bombs. Well, as they say, old habits try hard. These sold out low bro tricksters still playing their old tricks to scatter Hindus and consolidate other religions. Divide Hindus as upper caste versus lower caste, Adivasis versus non Adivasis, farmers versus non farmers, and the list goes on. This has been happening since the ancient time. Remember Mughals and other invaders reap the benefits of scattered Hindus. Handful of Britishers ruled us for 200 years on divide and rule policy. Even after independence, Congress continued to successfully divide Hindus on caste base. But did we learn anything from it? No. We still get entrapped in their same trick and leave no opportunity to question and humiliate our own. Like Sadhguru in this case. I mean does it even matter if Sadhguru calls himself Hindu or not, when every now and then he bashes all retards who try to look down on Hinduism? How many evidences one need to understand if Sadhguru is in support or against Hindus and the country? One misinterpreted small part out of context video is more than enough to spew venom against him. The track record doesn't matter. Same group of people who enjoy so-called stand-up comedians' filthy abusive remarks on our God suddenly started finding Sadhguru's remark on Krishna offensive and degrading. Remember that national anthem playing in movie theater, where they fiercely opposed it. What reason they gave then? National anthem is pious, movies are not. Isn't it laughable? The front runner of sexual liberation is actually finding movie theaters being unpious suddenly to play national anthem. They all are Mayavi Rakshas, Ichadari Nagins. They change their outlook depending on the situation. But the ultimate goal is always one, break India by breaking Hindus. Like, comment and subscribe.